Now next topic is tangent and normals. So these are all part of application of derivatives. We have already discussed derivative as rate measure and then differentials, use of differentials in errors and approximation, then you have mean value theorems and the next topic is tangents and normals. Now uh, most of this topic is based on the uh, coordinate geometry of uh, plus one. So first is that let us again revise all these topics a little bit. First is slope. What do you mean by slope of a line? Slope is also called the gradient. Now tangent of the angle tangent of the angle which the line makes with the positive direction of x axis is called the slope of a line and it is denoted by m now you can see here this is the line this is the positive direction so tangent of this angle is called that is <coughs> tan theta is called the slope of the line like this if the line is this again positive direction tangent of angle is the slope of the line here now slope of a line joining two points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 you can see that these are the two points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 now from here you draw perpendiculars to the x axis say this point is foot of the perpendiculars are c and d from a you draw perpendicular to the uh, bd so you can see here let's say this angle is theta then this angle is also theta so that means slope is tan theta so tan theta is equal to in triangle ABE because this angle and this angle are same because they are corresponding angles that is your BE upon AE now can I write this as it is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 because this distance is y2 minus y1 and this distance is x2 minus x1 so slope of a line joining two points a x1 y1 b x2 y2 is that is your y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 now slope of x axis is that is m equals to 0 because line makes 0 degree angle with the x axis slope of y axis is m is equal to infinity because line makes angle 90 degree with the x axis so therefore slope of x axis is 0 slope of y axis is infinity now next is Next is angle between the two lines whose inclinations are given. So this is one line 
इंक्लाइंड एट एन एंगल थीटा वन दिस इज दी अदर लाइन इंक्लाइंड एट एन एंगल थीटा टू एंड दिस इज दी एंगल थीटा बिटवीन दीज टू लाइन एंड यू कैन सी हेयर दैट लीनियर पेयर दिस इज योर वन एटी माइनस थीटा है By the exterior angle property, can I say that theta two is equal to theta plus theta one? That is, exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. This implies theta is equal to theta two minus theta one tan theta. Angle between the two lines is that is your tan theta two minus tan of theta one upon one plus tan theta two into tan theta one. That is your M two minus M one over one plus M one into M two. So similarly, you can have theta one here and theta two here. So that is why. So we have tan theta is equal to modulus of M one minus M two over one plus M one into M two. So this way we can find the angle between the two lines given by M one minus M two over one plus M one into M two. If the question is being asked as to find the end, or find the obtuse angle between the given lines, then we will simply take tan theta equals to negative value. If the question is to ask uh, is asked as to find the angle between the lines, then we will just simply take the positive value, here, right? Now, from here you can see that if two lines are parallel, then Theta equals to zero implies m one is equal to m two. If two lines are perpendicular, therefore infinity is equal to m one minus m two over one plus m one into m two. Or this implies that one plus m one m two is equal to zero. Or this implies that product of these slopes is equal to Minus one here. So we are going to use all these properties of slope and all these results based on slope to discuss the application of derivatives or the to discuss the tangent and normal normals under the topic application of derivatives. Now, before that, so slope of tangent that we have already discussed that it is given by dy over dx. Now, because normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent, therefore, slope of normal. Into slope of tangent is equal to minus one, or this implies slope of normal is equal to minus one over slope of tangent, or which is minus one over dy over dx. So it will be given by minus dx over dy. So dy over dx gives us the slope of the tangent, and minus dx over dy gives us the slope of the normal. Now the first question is find the find the slope of tangent and normal to x square plus 3y plus y square is equal to 5 at the point 1 1 so we have to find the slope of tangent and normal to the curve at 1 1 Now d over dx of x square plus 3y plus y square minus 5 is equal to 0, or 2x plus 3 times dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx is equal to 0, or this implies dy over dx into 3 plus 2y is equal to minus 2x, or this implies dy over dx is equal to 
minus 2x over 3 plus 2y. So dy over dx at the point 1, 1 is equal to minus 2 into 1 over 3 plus 2 into 1, which is your minus 2 over 5. So the slope of tangent at 1, 1 is minus 2 over 5. Slope of normal is equal to minus dx over dy, which is equal to 5 by 2 here. Simply you differentiate this, that is why they all fall under the topic application of derivatives. Derivatives is very very important in each and every topic relating to calculus, whether it is differential calculus or integral calculus, you require the help of, that is your differentiation here. So slope of the tangent is minus 2 by 5 and slope of the normal is, that is your 5 by 2 here. Now next is show that the tangents to the curve y is equal to 2x cube minus 3 at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 2 are parallel. Tangents to the curve at these two points are parallel. So what is dy over dx? It is 6x square. Now dy over dx at x is equal to 2 is equal to 6 into 2 square which is equal to 25 4. Now dy over dx at x is equal to minus 2 is equal to 6 into minus 2 square that is also 24. You can see here m1 and m2 are same which implies tangents at these two points are parallel. Now next is slope of the curve slope of the curve 2y square is equal to ax square plus b at at 1 minus 1 is 1 find a and b slope of the curve at 1 minus 1 is 1 find a and b now that means this is a curve 1 minus 1 means the point is lying on the curve because 1 minus 1 lies on 2y square is equal to ax square plus b therefore 2 into minus 1 square is equal to a into 1 square plus b or 2 is equal to a plus b this is first now d over dx of 2y square is equal to d over dx of ax square plus b or this implies that 4y dy over dx is equal to 2ax or dy over dx is equal to ax over 2y. So we have the, uh, that is derivative of y with respect to x. So dy over dx at 1 minus 1 is equal to a upon minus 2 and is equal to 1. This implies that a plus 2 minus 2. So from first and second, 2 is equal to minus 2 plus b that implies b is equal to 4 that is we have the values of a and b a is minus 2 and b is equal to 4 Now next is find the slope of the normal to the curve x is equal to a cos cube theta y is equal to a sin cube theta at theta is equal to pi by 4. So this is the parametric representation of the curve and we have to find the slope of the normal to the curve at theta. Theta is a parameter here. So dx over d theta is equal to d over d theta of a cos cube theta which is your 
a times d over d theta of cos cube theta which is your a into 3 cos square theta into derivative of cos theta which is your minus sin theta. Similarly, dy over d theta is equal to d over d theta of a sin cube theta which is your a times d over d theta of sin cube theta which is your a into 3 sin square theta into derivative of sin theta which is your cos theta. Now, minus dx over dy is the slope of the normal is equal to what is that? It is minus dx over d theta upon dy by d theta. Minus dx over dy is the slope of the normal. So minus dx over d theta over dy over theta. Can I write this as minus? It is minus 3a cos square theta sin theta upon positive 3a sin square theta cos theta. You can see here this will cancel and it will come out to be cot of theta. So at theta is equal to pi by 4. This is cot pi by 4 which is equal to 1 here. So slope of the normal to the curve, curve was written in the parametric form, comes out to be equal to 1. Now next is find the points on the curve. Find the points on the curve y is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus x at which the tangent lines are parallel to y is equal to 3x minus 2 here. Now this question is different from all the previous questions. Here we have to find the coordinates of the point on the curve where the tangent is parallel to this. That means slope of the tangent will be same as the slope of this line here. Now dy over dx is equal to it is d over dx of x cube minus 2x square minus x. This is 3x square minus 4x minus 1. So this is the derivative of the that is uh, curve here. So at x1, y1, you can see that dy over dx at x1, y1 is it is 3x1 square minus 4x1 minus 1. Now according to the question, uh, slopes are same and slope of y is equal to 3x minus 2 is 3. So therefore 3x1 square minus 4x1 minus 1 is equal to 3. Or this implies 3x1 square minus 4x1 minus 4 equals to 0. Now from here x1 is equal to 4 plus minus root 16 plus 48 by 6 which is your 4 plus minus 8 by 6 which is 2 or minus 2 by 3. So we are getting two points on the curve x1 is 2 and minus 2 by 3. Now because x1 y1 lies on y is equal to x cube minus 2 x square minus x this implies y1 is equal to x1 cube minus 2 x1 square minus x1. So x1 is equal to 2 implies y1 is equal to 8 minus 2 into 4 and minus 2. This is equal to minus 2. So one of the points is 2 minus 2. Now when x1 is equal to minus 2 by 3, this implies y1 is equal to minus 2 by 3 cube minus 2 times minus 2 by 3 square minus of minus 2 by 3. So this is minus 8 over 27 minus 2 times 4 over 9 plus 2 by 3. What is the LCM? LCM is 27. It is minus 8 minus 24 uh, and uh, plus 18. So you can see here my, it is 14 over 27. 
so the two points are it is 2 minus 2 and minus 2 by 3 and this is minus 14 over 27 because it is minus 32 plus 18 it is minus 14 over 27 so these are the two points on the curve where the tangent to this curve is parallel to this line Now next is at what point on the curve x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0 tangents are parallel to y axis tangents are parallel to y axis so once again first we will differentiate this so d over dx of x square plus d over dx of y square minus 2 times d over dx of x minus 4 times d over dx of y plus d over dx of 1 is equal to 0 so it is 2x plus 2y dy over dx minus 2 minus 4 times dy over dx this is equal to 0 or this implies x plus y dy over dx minus 1 minus 2 times dy over dx is equal to 0 or this implies dy over dx into y minus 2 is equal to 1 minus x or this implies dy over dx is equal to 1 minus x over y minus 2 because the question is to find the points on the curve now let x1 y1 be the point on the curve so therefore dy over dx at x1 y1 is equal to 1 minus x1 over y1 minus 2 tangents are parallel to the y axis because slope of y axis is infinity so this implies that 1 minus x1 over y1 minus 2 is equal to infinity or this implies y1 minus 2 is equal to 1 minus x1 over infinity is 0 or this implies that y1 is equal to 2 here. Now because x1 y1 lies on the curve therefore x1 square plus y1 square minus 2 x1 minus 4 y1 plus 1 equals to 0. Now y1 is equal to 2 implies that x1 square plus 4 minus 2 x1 minus 8 plus 1 equals to 0 or this implies x1 square minus 2 x1 now what is that minus 3 is equal to 0 or this implies that x1 minus 3 into x1 plus 1 is equal to 0 or this implies x1 is equal to 3 or minus 1 here. So the point is 3, 2 or it is minus 1, 2. So these are the points where the tangents are parallel to the y-axis here. Now next is find the points on the curve y is equal to x cube at which slope of the tangent is equal to y coordinate of the point. So we have to find the points on this curve at which slope of the tangent is equal to y coordinate of the point. So dy over dx is equal to 3x square. Now let x1, y1 be the point 
on the curve y is equal to x cube. So this implies y1 is equal to x1 cube. Now, uh, tangent is uh, that is your according to the question dy over dx at x1 y1 is equal to 3 x1 square. So this implies 3 x1 square is equal to y coordinate of the point. Now from first and second implies 3x1 square is equal to x1 cube implies x1 square into 3 minus x1 is equal to 0. So this implies x1 is equal to 0 or x1 is equal to 3 here. Since we have to find the point on the curve. Now because y1 is equal to x1 cube so x1 is equal to 0 implies y1 equals to 0 and x1 is equal to 3 implies y1 is equal to 3 cube which is your 27. So the points on the curve are that is 0, 0 and 3 comma 27 here. Now next is find the point on the curve points on the curve y is equal to x minus 3 whole square where the tangent is parallel to the line joining the points where the tangent is parallel to the line joining the points and the points are 4 1 and 3 0 so again you can see here dy over dx is equal to it is 2 times of x minus 3 at x1 y1 the point on the curve dy over dx is equal to 2 times of x1 minus 3 now according to the question 2 times of x1 minus 3 is equal to because it is parallel to the line joining y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is your minus 1 over minus 1 which is your plus 1 so this implies x1 minus 3 is equal to half or this implies x1 is equal to 3 plus half which is your 7 by 2 because x1 y1 lies on y is equal to x minus 3 square this implies y1 is equal to x1 minus 3 whole square which is your 7 by 2 minus 3 whole square that is your 1 by 4 so the point here is that is your 7 by 2 and 1 by 4 here Next is find the point points on root x plus root y is equal to 4 at which tangent is that is equally inclined equally inclined to the axis. Now what do you mean by that tangent is equally inclined to the axis? You can see that this is the tangent. It makes equal angles with the axis. So that means slope of this line is tan of 135 which is your minus 1. You can have another case. Now tangent is equally inclined. This angle and this angle 45. That is slope is tan 45 which is your plus 1. So whenever it is written that uh, line is or tangent is equally inclined to the axis that means we are going to consider both the cases that is m is equal to plus minus 1. Now d over dx of under root x plus under root y is equal to d over dx of 4 that is your 0. So 1 over 2 root x plus 1 over 2 root y into dy over dx this is equal to 0 or this implies 1 over root y dy over dx is equal to minus 1 over root x or this implies dy over dx is equal to minus root y upon root x. Since the question is to find the points on the curve, so at 
x1 y1 dy over dx at x dy over dx at x1 y1 is equal to minus under root y1 over under root of x1 now you can see here at which tangent is equally inclined so according to the question minus under root of y1 over under root of x1 is equal to plus minus of 1 so we have the two cases here so this implies that minus root of y1 over root of x1 is equal to minus 1 or this implies that root y1 is equal to root x1 because x1 y1 lies on root x plus root y is equal to 4 so this implies root x1 plus root y1 is equal to 4 or this implies 2 times root x1 is equal to 4 this implies root x1 is equal to 2 or x1 is equal to 4 now you can see here x1 is equal to 4 so you substitute the value of x1 is equal to 4 here so this implies because we have to find the points on the curve so under root of 4 plus under root of y1 is equal to 4 or 2 plus under root of y1 is equal to 4 or this implies root y1 is equal to 2 this implies or y1 is equal to 4 so the points on the curve are 4 4 now let us consider the other case from here you can see that minus under root of y1 over under root of x1 is equal to plus 1 this implies root of y1 is equal to minus root of x1 which is not possible because square root function cannot take value cannot take negative value so we will reject this case and the only possible answer here is that is your 4 4 here next is find the point on the curve uh, points on the curve y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 at which tangent has the equation y is equal to x minus 11 so in all these questions we have to consider any point on the curve that is your x1 y1 first we need to differentiate this so what is dy over dx this is equal to 3x square minus 11 let x1 y1 be the point on the curve so therefore dy over dx at the point x1 y1 is equal to 3 x1 square minus 11 now according to the question that the this uh, tangent has the finding points on the curve at which the tangent has this equation that means so from first and second they should be having the same slopes this implies 3 x1 square equals to 12 x1 square equals to 4 x1 equals to plus minus 2 here now because x1 y1 lies on y is equal to x cube minus 11 x plus 5 so this implies x1 is equal to 2 implies y1 is equal to 2 cube minus 11 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 8 minus 22 plus 5 which is your minus 9 so one of the possibilities is 2 minus 9 when x1 is equal to minus 2 implies y1 is equal to minus 2 cube minus 11 into minus 2 plus 5 is equal to minus 8 plus 22 plus 5 which is your 19 so that is the other possibilities minus 2 and 19 now there is a twist in this question it is given we are not simply supposed to find on the curve because question is that tangent has the equation that means these we have to check whether these two points satisfy this equation or not now 
say so this is third fourth from second and third minus 9 is equal to 2 minus 11 which is equal to minus 9 implies point on the curve is 2 minus 9 from 2 and 4 19 is equal to minus 2 minus 11 which is equal to minus 13 so left hand side is not equal to the right hand side so only possible point on the curve is 2 minus 9 where tangent has the equation that is your 2 minus 9 here Now next is points on the curve nine y square is equal to x cube where normal to the curve normal to the curve makes equal intercepts with the axis so we have already discussed that slope of the line making equal intercepts with the axis is plus minus one that is slope of the line making equal intercepts is plus minus one here so first of all d over dx of 9 y square is equal to d over dx of x cube this implies that 18y dy over dx is equal to 3x square or this implies that dy over dx is equal to 3x square over 18y which is your x square over 6y. Now at x1 y1 the point on the curve we have dy over dx is equal to x1 square over 6y1. Now slope of the normal is equal to minus dx over dy which is your minus 6y1 over x1 square so according to the question according to the question minus 6y1 over x1 square is equal to plus minus of 1 so this implies minus 6y1 is equal to minus x1 square or implies x1 square is equal to 6y1 now because x1 y1 lies on the curve therefore 9 y1 square is equal to x1 cube so we have this is your let's say this is 1 this is 2 and this is uh, 3, 4 and 5. So from 4 and 5, can I say that 9 times y1 square implies x1 square upon 6 whole square is equal to x1 cube or this implies x1 raised power 4 upon 4 is equal to x1 cube or this implies x1 raised power 4 minus 4 x1 cube equals to 0 or x1 cube is common x1 minus 4 equals to 0 so this implies x1 is equal to 0 or x1 is equal to 4 here now you can see here so x1 is equal to 0 implies y1 equals to 0 x1 is equal to 4 from 5 implies 9y1 square is equal to that is your since the point lies on the curve so that is 9y1 square is equal to 64 or y1 square is equal to 64 over 9 or y1 is equal to plus minus 8 over 3 here now similarly you can see here if we have minus 6y1 over x1 square is equal to that is your plus 1 or this implies that x1 square is equal to minus 6y1 or this implies that 
y1 is equal to minus x1 square over 6. Again, when you substitute the uh, value here, that is from 5. So, 9 times x1 raised power 4 over 36 is equal to x1 cube or this implies x1 is equal to 0 or x1 is equal to 4. So, we will get the same points that is your, so points in 4, then 8 over 3 or 4 and minus 8 over 3. So, this is all about the, that is your uh, slope of the tangent and normal under the topic that is your tangent and normals. Now, we will discuss uh, that is your equation of tangent and equation of normal.